Charles, let's stay in the division. TJ is already pre-gaming for the Super Bowl out here in Los Angeles because of all the weapons the Dallas Cowboys have on offense. Zeke's in the best shape of his career. I know they say that every training camp, but this year it's true. Amari Cooper, Gallup, CeeDee Lamb's going to have a big second year. You think TJ should slow down if he wants to make it to Super Bowl, or should he just start celebrating now? Well, let's see if the quarterback can get through his camp arm first. I mean, before we... It's concerning, you know, that, that Dak already has some fatigue on that arm coming in. And, you know, not a huge surprise. I think some of it was he was loading up a little bit. And then, you know, I think it was a little bit of a workload that caused the fatigue. But I, I don't like that it's been this long. You know, you hear a couple of days and then it stretches into a week. And now I'm starting to wonder how long this will go. But, you know, look, Zeke, I was there. Zeke looks fantastic. I mean, he looks like his freshman year at Ohio State. He says that was when he was last at 218. He looks it. Um, Tyron Smith looks unbelievable. I mean, they physically, there's a lot to like there, but I think it's, you know, where are you going to get the pass rush from? How consistent is it going to be? Um, the secondary, you know, is, is Trevon Diggs going to be enough to kind of gel that group? There's a lot defensively to question. And then, you know, I want to see, I want to see Dak on the field. I, I'll tell you what about CeeDee Lamb, though. He's, uh, when I was there, because of Mario Cooper's not there, um, you know, they were playing him outside which that was a big question, like how much, you know, can he be an outside receiver? He looked great to me, and I think he's clear in a way. He's a number one receiver in the NFL, and I think Amari Cooper's a number one, and so you got two number ones. Gallup's great. I mean, there's no question offensively they're stacked. It's just uh, let's see how Dak responds to, you know, continue to put fatigue on that arm. And although he looked completely healthy, the ankle looked fine to me, and he ran around a lot. You know, we got to get a couple months into this to make sure there's nothing like lingering or nothing's going to get inflamed or blow up at some point. Charles Robinson joins the show. Yahoo Sports senior NFL reporter Ben Lyons in for Rich on the Rich Eisen show. You may have created a monster there, Charles, because TJ was just pumping his fists in the air, getting all hyped up over CD Lamb. Probably going to come in tomorrow with a CD Lamb jersey. So he's 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 losing his mind over there. So thank you for having us. You know we have to deal with that now for the rest of the show. Uh, let's uh, let's, CD. let's uh let's stay uh, in the division uh, and let's talk a little bit about some of these rumors we're hearing this morning about the Eagles possibly making yeah. a trade for Deshaun Watson. I don't understand it because with everything happening around Deshaun Watson right now, I would not want him on my football team. What is Philadelphia thinking with this? I mean, it's an immense amount of risk. And the, here's the thing about the Philly, the, the deal with Philly. So when teams started to drop out of that, um, March and April, you know, 49ers backed away, um, the, the Panthers backed away, the Jets backed away. What was interesting out of all those franchises when they were backing away, they all said the same thing. Watch Philly. They all believed Philly was going to be the one that was going to make the big run at them. Um, and, and frankly, once Carolina fell out, I thought Carolina was really the one. But Carolina was going to offer – three first, three thirds. I mean, they were going to make a big offer, you know, before all this stuff broke loose with Sean. And um, so the Philly thing has been out there for a while, but I think the question that I have, and, you know, I've talked to a number of GMs who, you know, either were involved with this or still involved with this. And the one thing that I think is pretty consistent is everybody wants to manage the risk. So the, the, what I mean by that is I had one GM who, who I think definitely has some interest said, okay, I need some pick protections. Like, if we're going to do this, I don't know what's going to happen five minutes after I trade for the guy. He's like, that's, you know, I'm worried about everything, but I'm definitely worried about what I don't know yet. And so his thought process was, if he gets suspended half a season, I want one of my first to turn into a second round pick. If he gets suspended for a full season or gets indicted and, you know, faces felony charges, I want two of my first turning into second round picks. Like, they just want protection in the long term for the package that they have to give up. I have no idea where, you know, what Philly's thinking in terms of, you know, the protections. I don't know. I have not heard that it is that far along, frankly, from what was what I saw today out on Twitter. Um, and I think a big part of that is, and I think, you know, uh, Pro Football Talks Mike Florio touched on this. The Harris County prosecutor's got to decide if he's going to advance um, some of this information to a grand jury. And if they see the grand jury, that's a whole different – I mean, I, I can't see NFL any NFL team trading for him because they got to sit there and say, is this guy getting indicted on felonies? And if he gets indicted on felonies, you know, the league's going to step in. I think the league's just waiting to see what the 
you know, Houston Police Department and the Harris County prosecutor ultimately decide to do with it. So this idea that he's about to be dealt, I'm just, I don't know, man. I, I tend to believe from the legal standpoint, and, and I'm not even talking about the civil suits, I'm talking about the criminal stuff. Um, I think teams are still really worried about that and, and what might happen after a trade. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.